Hello everybody, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. As you already know, on March 6th, they updated the game, and in this update, they brought a lot of buffs to certain weapons, and a lot of nerfs to other weapons. Some people were very upset with this update, I'm kind of neutral on it, some good, some bad. But one thing that stood out to me was the flamethrower. The flamethrower was a weapon that I didn't think was that bad to begin with, but I didn't find it viable for most use cases, so I never really ran it. But after the recent changes, we're going to take a deep dive into it and see how well it does. How does it still stack up? Let me know, do you guys like it? Did you like it before? Well, let's check it out. Now, when running this, I tried many different things, but the only thing that seemed to stay consistent was my primary, secondary, and grenades. Primary being the Punisher, because after the recent update, this thing's amazing, and I will talk more about that later. The Redeemer, because it's the only good secondary, and the impact grenades, because again, those are the best grenades and I don't want to hear anything otherwise. Now, when it came to stratagems, I ran the flamethrower, obviously, and in order to tank more hits, because this is such a close range weapon, I brought the shield generator pack. Now the last two, kind of just personal preference. I tried to narrow it down and see which ones are good, but it really made no difference. Just use whatever you want, it, it's effective. Now armor. I thought at first that with the new armor updates, heavy armor would be the way to go. Heavy armor, shield generator pack, take a bunch of hits, take everything out with a flamethrower. No, it really wasn't the case. Uh, the heavy armor is a little slow, you're going to take those hits no matter what, and you're going to die. Now light armor, you're faster, but you're going to die pretty quickly, and with the close range you are going to take hits, so medium armor is definitely the way to go with this build. Now when it comes to fighting enemies, we're going to start off talking about the automatons. The flamethrower against the automatons is awful. It is just horrible. Don't even try it. I gave it my best shot. I changed all my stratagems. The gun is just way too close range and every automaton is going to just laugh at you thinking that you can get close enough and they're going to shoot you in the face and you're just going to be wondering what's going on. It's not worth the time. You can't get close enough for it to be worth anything. And in the case that you get as close as I did, you can take out striders fairly effectively. You can take out most small enemies kind of effectively. But when it comes to any berserker, like the rocket or shield berserker, they don't care. They, you can't get close enough. I never got close enough in multiple games to even see what they would do. Uh, the Hulk, obviously it doesn't do anything, but I did my best. I got close enough to a Hulk to see what would happen and I died. Shocker, it does absolutely nothing. This gun is not great with automatons. It doesn't mean that it's out of the question. Once they do another update or two and balance it out a little bit, it might be a bit better because even without the flamethrower, the automatons seem to swarm you relentlessly no matter what you're playing with. Now, don't count the flamethrower out just yet. Just because it doesn't do against robots that shoot you in the face doesn't mean it's bad. If you take it in against the Terminids, that's where this thing really shines. This thing was excellent over at the Terminids. Terminids can't shoot you in the face, which is a huge plus, meaning that you can get close enough to do an ungodly amount of damage, and it is really good against chargers. When chargers are coming at you, you can just spray them with at least one tank of the flamethrower, and you can clear out multiples of them. This thing was so good there, it gave me a false sense of hope, because I played Terminids before I ever went to the Automatons, and let me tell you, I, I was praising this thing. I thought it was amazing. And then I went to the other side and realized that, okay, it's a one-trick pony. You can take out bugs, you can't take out robots. But getting into my final thoughts on this, the gun itself is alright. It's not a good all-around weapon like the arc thrower or the railgun, which is still a good gun. You guys just need to stop being a bunch of pansies and put it in unsafe mode. Anyway. If you want to fight the Terminids, this thing is great, does everything you expect it to, and then some. But, going up against the Automatons, they're just going to laugh at you, shoot you in the face before you ever get the chance to get close enough to show them how effective it really is. But I wouldn't count this gun completely out. I think once Arrowhead finally balances out the Automatons, this gun could stand a better chance up against them, but for now, it is a Terminid only weapon. Let me know what you guys think about the flamethrower after the recent patch. Do you guys find it more effective than I do? Do you have better builds and ideas of how this thing can be more effective? Do you find it useful against automatons? Because I don't. But if you do, let me know. I'll be sure to build whatever you want and give it a try. But don't forget to like and subscribe because I'll be going into more detail about a lot more weapons in the Helldivers arsenal. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.